Um, there are Lechu who is in a same-sex relationship, uh, and uh, this passage sort of talks about some of the difficulties that she finds uh, when, I guess, kind of trying to find the kind of physical and social space for her personal connection to her partner to become expressed uh, more fully in a way that maybe those of us who don't face uh, that kind of marginalization might take for granted. Um, so, Lee Chu was frustrated. She could trim and squash and redact so much. She had never been interested in bridal fuss and frippery. In public, she kept her hands dutifully back from Neural's waist. And except among a tiny knot of trusted friends, she skipped deftly over strategic gaps in her patter. But there was no argument arguing with the fundamental fact of bodies needing room, for movement and for rest. And so she sat down to work out the Byzantine rules governing sales and resales of HDB flats, the only housing option she and Nero could ever afford, and determined that there was nothing else for it. She would have to turn 35 and as soon as possible. <laughs> the only alternative was hoping for her mother to die. An unacceptable position and anyway unreliable. <laughs> With five siblings and a troop of nieces and nephews, she was unlikely to inherit the whole flat. And if she didn't, there remained Kim to reckon with. Until he reached 35, only 18 months before she would, or married, halitosis notwithstanding, the rules might require them as brother and sister to make any flat purchases together. So the waiting game began. She worked hard, was promoted, duty manager, branch manager, customer relations and head office, eyes always on the prize. She had it all lined up. She would be ready. She was ready. She wanted to be older. She and Neural continued to quilt their patchwork weeks together. The brief relief of afternoons crumpled and hastily pocketed. A few hours in the cinema like guilty teenagers. Now and then a lucky find, an entire night. She kept a running tally in her head. This many more years in the decade, this many more months in the year. Every time she wrote a date, she made a quick calculation of the time to go. Their situation softened slightly. Lei Chu's old mother befriended Nuro and enjoyed having her around, though this too had its bitterness. Nuro, Ma lives in Malayu. You're a nice girl. You must have lots of friends. Can't you introduce someone to my daughter? We should get her to wear clothes like yours are so much nicer. You see, she's always dressed so sloppily. How will she find a husband? Her views on the necessity of husbands were robust. They had survived the nation's independence from the British Empire, <laughs> its ejection from the Federation of Malaysia, the caught death of its democracy, the destruction of its kampong villages, and perhaps most impressively, her own husband, with his liver cirrhosis and his liberal fists. They would survive a lesbian daughter. <laughs>